The launching of Emblem Appeal Week was usually organized to make some donations from the government agencies, donor partners and non-governmental organizations, as well as well-meaning Nigerians, but it seems the reverse is the case. National leader of All Soldiers' Wives Association of Nigeria, Aisha Idris Anjuma, called on the state and the federal government to help them in that regard. Come to our aid. He is our father here in this state. We have widows, widows that are in need of help. We have widows that have nothing. We have widows that are being food is being contributed for them from churches and from uh, wealthy from individual among our women. We are calling on him, please, to include us in whatever they are doing, so that these women and their children can always say thank you to him and thank you to God. Malam Kau, also a veteran, says the Emblem Appeal Week is sometimes like a drama or ceremonial event to gather retired armed forces and make empty promises for them to hear. Well, according to him, it's not realistic. <laughs> Earlier, the governor Bala Abdul Qadir Muhammad launched the Emblem Appeal Week with the donation of more than 10 million naira and promised to help in uplifting the Nigerian legionaries in the state. Chairman of the Legion, that it is a shame that we made uh, promises last year and he was very modest by that. First of all, Your Excellency may wish to know that the Nigerian Legion has no office accommodation since its creation in the past for the past 46 years. The climax of the event is usually celebrated as Armed Forces Remembrance Day every year on the 15th of January, with the hope of lives of retired soldiers will change for the better. Adam Shehu, Liberty News, Bouch.